In this video I'm going to show you how you can send text SMS messages with MessageBird. It's one of the biggest SMS platforms at least here in Europe and you can send messages worldwide if you have the account for it. So without further ado let's go ahead and install this. On this screen you can see the link that you end up with if you click the message bird SMS feature in the ManyChat App Store. What you have to do is click the install button at the bottom of your screen, which will take you to a page with all your pages on your account. You click the correct page. In my case, I already have it installed. And when you already have it installed, you can go to your settings, then go to apps and you just click the link right there and you will see a screen such as this one here. You can click message bird SMS and there you will be asked to fill in your ManyChat or your temp chat templates license key. And if you don't have one or if you don't plan on sending more than 50 SMS messages per month, you can of course just use the free code that's displayed right there. You click save and your action is installed in your action menu in the flow builder. So let's go ahead and have a look at that one. Right here you can see a demo flow that you also have when you download the free template that you can get from the app store information i'll zoom in and show you where the action is at which is in my case right here you can put that anywhere you want of course but know that this action block actually sends the message so if you want to have it at a specific place just note that this is also the sms sending action the flow right here just it's a really boring flow as you can see no images whatsoever um, it just has a simple introduction message asks for the user's phone number and then there is this action which i will show you i'll just create a new one so click on action find the message bird sms action Click on select action, click OK on that link there, and then you will see this pull down menu with a little information about how you can use it. Of course, you have to have a message bird account, and what you do is you can just enter the name of your business. Just know that is it is a maximum of 11 characters, but for the sake of this one, let's put in my many chat test. Let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 4 to many. So let's do my many chat. Oh, should my many chat so this will be the sender phone number i'll just put in my phone field where is it my system field it's phone 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 where is it right here and the message I want to send so hi Paul my first name what's going on okay I'll put it in later hi Paul here is a test message click the link below and then we'll just put in a link so people 
just manychat.com just do something doesn't really matter and here is a message and now you can see there is this right here we'll put in first name so this is just remember that an sms message usually only accepts 160 characters per sms message or at least that was the threshold in the old days you can of course use it more but if you uh, bought credits and you are surprised why it's costing so many credits just know that if you send a message that it will be divided by 160 characters so if you send a large message from like 400 words or, so, or 400 characters that will actually be three different uh, credits from your account so um, you might want to um, think about that uh, let's see what do we have here API key so you just enter your API key right there and your that's your test API key this is your live API key this is your message bird API information so don't forget that and you can just go to messagebird.com create an account and get your API keys from the developer links right there what action do you want to take do you want to send a message or do you want to get your current credits so if you want to know how many credits you have left in your account just select this one and otherwise leave it empty or use the send SMS option this is an option to again I used test field so that's test field this is an option to show the result of your message so if it's sent successfully the result back will be uh, sent so you can use a condition like if the result is sent then show that message or otherwise you can uh, tell them you can't send the message or something like that so um, that is that I will show you what that looks like of course I get that I need some data here just put in somewhere something save and the test that I was referring to is right here the status so your SMS sending status is and then it will say send right here but you can use this custom user field in a condition and do anything you want with that or you can just ignore it whatever you want so let's just run a demo I'm going to remove this one again so um, shortly you will see that I do get an other message because I already had one configured but the reason I'm not showing that is because my API data is in there so publish of course that wasn't really needed because I didn't change anything and now I am going to run this flow right here and you will see that I'm getting the SMS message so let's switch over to my phone so we are at my phone screen right now so let's just go through this flow on screen continue thanks for your interest the section is all about using message bird blah de, blah de, blah let's do a test this is my phone number and right now it will immediately send the SMS message so keep an eye on the screen and there we go as you can see here is my SMS message so that is like instantly and if I click on it will it open up the message let's see and as you can see I did some more tests before so it will look a little messy but as you can see right here it's a little past half past 12 and you can see here on screen or can't you you can't actually but it is like right now and here is a link to another flow 
so this is really cool and if you use message bird this is one that you want to use this is another one but I will show you this in another video this is just the dynamic image combined with the QR code that we spoke about in another video so this wraps up this video and if you have any questions please let me know